template literals allow you to use strings or embedded expressions in the form of a string. They are enclosed in backticks. We will look at some examples, but before we do, let us look at how some of the earlier versions of JavaScript implemented strings using single and double quotes. So let's go into our script and we can create a few strings. And let's use single quotations and say this is a string. Now let us create some more strings. String 2. And here we have a double quote inside of single quotes. Let's just say double quotes. All right, and let's create another string. So this one has single quotes inside of single quotes. And we can see that this is causing an error. And finally, let's just look at an example with double quotations. So now we're at string four. Single quote. So we can see this one is valid and now if we try to do double quotes inside of double quotes so we can see here the ones that are giving us an error at this point in time. So the reason for this is that you cannot have single quotes inside of a single quote string. And similarly, you cannot have double quotes inside of a double quote string. If you intend to have single quotes, you would have to use what is known as the escape character, which is a backslash. Right, so you'd have to escape all the quotes inside the string in order to not throw an error. And we would have to do the same thing with our double quotations here and here. So now if we console log string three, And let's also console log string five. Let's save it. Let's refresh template literals. So we see here now that now that we have escaped the characters, it prints them exactly as we would want it to show up. Right? So if we wanted to do multi line strings, In the old JavaScript, we would have to do it this way. And let's say message. 
so let's use single quotes and we can also include a new line character here and then we would have to concat Let's throw another new line in here and also concat the last part of our string. Right, so now if we console log our message, and let's comment this one out and we are refresh. We see here that we get the message as we would want it to um, be outputted. We have used new line characters here and they have been processed exactly um, how they should be because we are using the forward slash and n. If we wanted to achieve this very same thing using template literals, we could clear a new variable. Let's call it message two equals and now instead of using single or double quotations, I am going to use the back tick. And let me just copy this message. And remove these new line characters and the concat let's also remove these single quotes all right so if we now want to console log message two and save we'll see here that it actually shows up a little bit differently than how we would want it to show up. Here we're seeing that all indentation has been preserved. So it is very important that you do not indent or add any additional lines in, in the string if they are not desired. So let's go back and fix this. And let's save it and do a refresh. Now we get our message as it should look. And if we simply hit enter, right, and save it, then it uh, a little kind of sort of shows up how we would want it to show up. So keep that in mind. If you want to preserve the formatting, do not you do not necessarily have to add any new lines to your template literal. So template literals can be particularly useful with ternary operators, which allow conditionals within a string. And since we've looked at ternary operators already, um, this is a perfect time to look at another example. Let me define two additional variables. And and I'm just using const and let interchangeably here. So let us set our message. And I'm going to use template literal syntax. So open up my back ticks and say, and now we're going to use what is known as string interpolation. So using my dollar sign and open and close my curly brace. Within my curly braces, I can include any variable or expression that I would like to include within my template literal. So this is known as, as string interpolation. So I can 
just embed my ternary operator right here and say if age is less than 21, we want to say you cannot drive else, remember after the colon is over else, else we'll just have an empty string. Well, I believe their driving age would be 18, wouldn't it? So let me change this to 18. And, okay, so I have to come out of there. There we go. Okay, so let us now console log this message. And let's comment this one out. So let us save, do a refresh, and now we see it prints you can get your driver's license seeing that you are um, over 18 and if this was actually we should fix this if age is greater than 18 sorry my bad so if it's greater than 18 you can get it and if age is below 18 let's say 15 for instance do a refresh Okay, let's see what happened here. Uh, well, actually we had it correct before. Not sure why I swapped it around. So if age is less than 18, we would say you cannot get your driver's license. So let us do a refresh. Right, so we get you cannot get your driver's license. And yet if they are older than that, let's say 23, we say you can get your driver's license. Okay, so we see how a ternary operator can be embedded directly inside a template literal. Let's take a look at one final example. And I am going to use const and set sum equal to a function. So this function will have two parameters, x and y, and I will be using the arrow notation and say x plus y. Let's also say const x is equal to 4, and let's set y equals to 100. So let us set a result equal to, and let me open up my back ticks. And let's say the sum of x and y is and let us also wrap our function within curly braces and let us call our function sum and let us pass in x and y put a full stop and let us console log our result And I know this function notation may be new, so if it is new to you, take a look at the functions video and it should um, expand on what is happening here with this function. So we're printing the sum of our x value and y value is, and then we call our function and pass in our x and y values and it should return x plus y. So now that we have saved it, let us do a refresh. 
and we get the sum of 4 and 100 is 104. So this is a, a few examples of how string interpolation works with template literals.